Hey guys, it's Maymay, and here's a little extra bonus video. I had a great question after our live yesterday, and the question was, how will the VersaFine Clayer inks stamp on silicone stamps? So I thought I would kind of do a two for one. These are silicone stamps. They're from Letterit, or actually they're from Ranger. They're called Letterit, and there are some really adorable ones here. I think I'm gonna use this stamp set. But there's Thanks, um, Hooray, or Celebrate, this one is congratulations, Mr. and Mrs., things like that. And this one is baby. And they're only $6.99 for these full-size sets, so I think they're really affordable and good. But they're silicone, so they're a little, little bit different, and I'll show you. Um, does this say? They don't say silicone, but I want to show you. And I've shown you in other videos the difference between stamps. They're all perfectly fine. They just have a little different feel to them. So one thing is, whenever you have them like this and they're pretty sticky to peel off, you can tell that they're not photopolymer that way. Doesn't matter, you just have to know the trick. And then when you peel them off of the backer, they're a little harder to get off. And they kind of feel like they have a stretch. They actually do have a stretch. See how that stretches like that? Let me do it this way. See that, it's like a rubber band. And they're squishier than photopolymer. No big deal, you just have to know how to handle them. So here's what you do. I'm gonna take an acrylic block and put this one down. Not stretching it, although if you wanted to stretch it, you could, like if you wanted it to look a different way. Get creative, right? So here's birthday, and let's pick an ink. Y'all know I gotta go with this orange. It's called Summertime, which I think is beautiful. And I'm just gonna ink, look, I've already got my pad dirty. I'm gonna ink it up, and from what I can tell on the initial ink up, um, it's doing well for a silicone stamp. A lot of times, ink will bead up on a silicone where on a photopolymer it might not, but even sometimes some inks beat up on photopolymer. So before I stamp it, I'm gonna go ahead and give it one more good dose there. And I've got a little card base. I thought it'd be fun to just kind of see what we can do. This is my uh, Fiskars press. That is totally crooked, I think. I don't know, we're gonna go with it. And I'm just gonna press this down. Now, one thing you wanna do is not over press because you'll get a halo effect around your stamp, especially with silicone, because it squishes. And another thing is just let the ink transfer. Give it a second and let that, look how clean it came off the stamp. Like it is gone from the stamp and all here. Now there are some little bubbly places you can kind of see like in this B and things like that, but th I would be perfectly happy with the stamp. I think that's beautiful. Um, I really do like this. I overpressed on this one. Let me see if I can show you. <laughs> can you see how this one is a little too pressed down and in the middle it's real crisp and clean. I got some halo here. That's because I overpressed what I'm telling you not to do. Let's do um, a little something around it. So that's birthday. Let's see what else is on here. Um, it's your birthday. Uh, where's happy? Happy, okay, let's do this. Let's do happy and to you. So peel off happy. This is not the block. I should be using a smaller block, but this one's here. I'm just going to use it. And I'm going to change my ink color. Let's do, let's do Fantasia. It's purple. It's pretty. All right, so I'm going to ink up happy. I love how these stamps look, and this is these are up my alley. I love when you can have a stamp set and just kind of play and get all kinds of looks because everything's separate pieces. You guys know that about me if you bought my stamp sets before because I like to be able to have a whole bunch of different options. Look, happy birthday. That is adorable. And I think these inks are doing well. Um, and then let's do to you underneath that. And this would be a quick, easy one layer card, like if you were in a hurry, but the three inks make it look so fancy. So to you, and let's do those in green, sitting here on top, green oasis. Let's just see how it looks. Be very colorful. That O is not wanting to get inked, okay? So honestly, these work just fine on this silicone. You just want to make sure you're not over pressing. That's the big thing. Just kiss them down to the page and don't over press so you don't get that halo. This is a little bit, um, a little bit splotchy there, but not bad enough for me. Like I think it looks good, especially nowadays with hand lettering. A lot of times there'll be some open spaces in the middle of hand lettered um, pieces and that's perfectly fine. How cute is that? That was super quick and easy. I already um, scored this page or this card base so we could create a quick card together. 
You could do all kinds of stuff to that, but check it out. Happy birthday to you, super cute. And yes, the Claire's work well with the silicone. That was a great question, I love that. So if you have any other questions, um, I'll try to do some little quick videos. These are, I'm just gonna try to do them kind of unedited so I can put them up real quick, just to give you a little example. So if you have other questions, leave them in the comment section below and I will do some testing for you. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great one, bye-bye.